Today, we're gonna to talk about how Target went from a safe environment for buying cards to a, to a uh, strict limit to a enforced date and time. Let's get started with today's video. Hope you guys understand that this video is just my personal opinion and uh, hopefully this madness stops one day so a lot of the hobby can be restored to its normal default, I guess you can say. Let's get started with today's video. Oh my God. Oh! We're end. Rainbow Pikachu! What is going on guys? Jim here with a video today and guys a lot of people have been asking me about this new Target thing that's been going on where you can only purchase cards that are $20 and up after 8 a.m. and we're going to talk about the pros and cons if they outweigh each other and what you guys should know about the new 8 a.m. pretty much curfew to buy Pokemon cards at a Target that are $20 and up. Now before we get started today's video definitely Hulk smash the like button, comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. And today is just gonna be me in the video, and it's gonna be a quick one, but this should help you guys understand more about the Target 8 a.m. rule and why it's being enforced. All right, so let's just talk about a little bit what this Target thing is. Pretty much, uh, you can only buy Pokemon cards that are $20 and higher, sports cards, anything like cards like that. Not including Magic, because it's not as high in demand, but you can only buy something that's 20 and up, so like Hidden Fates 10, obviously, when you have to wait till Friday, Premium collections, those are like 40 but you could still buy the pin sets if you can find them. Technically, that is not $20, so you could still get away with getting that in the weekdays for your channel if you need to support it. But the real thing you're probably going to get on a daily basis if you go there is just packs of cards of Battle Styles or Vivid. Now, don't get me wrong, that's um, Vivid and Battle Styles is great and all, but people really need stuff for their channel, and it's affecting all the collectors and PokeTubers alike because of this new rule because of the problem with the scalpers. So let's go into the pros for the, let's, let's start with one pro, why this new 8 a.m. curfew is good. So pro number one, it keeps all the scalpers away from loitering the store and waiting all day and getting there early in the morning each day and just causing a hassle, no one getting cards and it just becomes a major issue. And uh, that is good because I've seen, I've heard people tell me that I, the scalpers have stayed in the store for like 12 hours plus and that is not normal so this new thing has definitely fixed that I'm hoping and um, yeah so that is the first pro is that it keeps the scalpers and from loitering the store and just causing mayhem and just it's, it's ridiculous because Target needs to be a safer place adults are shopping and just to see these people standing there and they're like what is this like a like a like a new event coming out or something like they're, they're just confused so that's the first pro Pro number two, pro, it gives everybody a chance on Friday to get a product besides your typical Pokemon packs. Pro number two, it gives everyone a chance on Friday to get a Pokemon product besides your typical pack of cards, as we were just talking about, how they're the only thing you can get during the day. So, you can get, like I said, Pokemon packs during the week, but you cannot get anything higher than $20. So, anything $19.99 and higher. Can't be $19.99, so no tins count. But, if you want those products... You want the tin, you want the ETBs, you're better, you have a much better chance because their stock from Target has been there all week. So everything's together and it gives everybody a chance on that Friday to get products. So, for example, if you see it before, like where they get hidden fade stuff or ETBs and stuff's gone in seconds. And um, on, on the weekdays, by the time Friday rolls around, it's gone again. But if they stockpile everything in the store all week long, it makes it much more a better chance for everyone to get a Pokemon card uh, product that's not a pack. So that's pro number two. Pro number three, it keeps Target a much more in safer place when it comes to the demand for Pokemon cards. So it's not a safe environment seeing scalpers fight over Pokemon cards. Someone fights over a freaking ETB and it's not worth it. First of all, it's not called for. Second of all, it's not normal. It's the Pokemon cards are supposed to be a hobby for collectors and investors and, um, you know, graders, all, all kinds of Pokemon uh, people are to have fun and enjoy the hobby, not fight over Pokemon cards. So that is another pro. Another pro, which I did mention a little bit, was there's going to be a lot more product on Friday at 8 a.m. because of the huge stock that Target gets in during the week. And they just build and build and build and build it up until the final big Final product, everything's in a store on Friday. So that's the pros, let's go to the cons. Con one, it creates a Black Friday style line 
the wait times are insanely long at 8 a.m. on Fridays. I'm talking 200 people, I've been told. I've been told 500 people, which is crazy. But you're talking Black Friday style lines every Friday. That is more than 50 times a year you're going to see this if this continues. So, yes, it creates one time a week versus the whole week. But this is a huge issue if you don't want to stay in line and wait and hopefully get a product. So that is con number one. Con number two, it gives a scalpers a much more chance of gathering their friends throughout the whole week. So if they know there's an 8 a.m. style uh, curfew going on for Pokemon cards that are 20 and up, um, twenty dollars and up, then you know for a fact that they're gonna have all their friends waiting there by that Friday morning. So if you want to, if if you really um, think of it a little more closely, it is a huge con because a lot more of their scalper friends will be there waiting and it'll just get more and more of a problem for a real Pokemon person who collects cards and, and is in the hobby of a chance of getting a product. So that's con number two. So con number three, you want to make sure you get there 30 minutes early because if you're getting there at the same time as the store opens, there's a big chance that those hidden baits tins you want are going to be gone. If you get there at 8.30, 9 o'clock, you're probably not going to be in luck at all. So you have to be up early to get this product because it turns into that, again, Black Friday style of a line early. It all comes together. It all comes together as a wholesome thing that it is very hard to get up if you're a morning person at 8 a.m. and not just go on a normal day to the store. It creates a problem. That's con number three. And last but not least, the biggest con is if you're a real Pokemon collector or a PokeTuber or anything that has to do with the hobby in a normal way, then your chances of getting stuff besides once a week that are going to you know, be for your channel or for your collection are going to be very diminished. So if you're going Friday morning to get something, that's the only thing you're getting the whole week unless you're going for packs. So if that is going to affect a lot of people who want to go in a couple times a week and grab a product like a normal person would back then. Like back six months ago, you can easily get a couple things and now... You have to wait till a very strict day, and that is, you know, that. You can only get it at 8 a.m., so keep in mind, guys, those are today's pros and cons. Very, very brief video today. Tomorrow, I'm going to be pack battling a guy named Syndicate, a very awesome PokeTuber, so stay tuned to that. Got awesome stuff headed next week. Got a poll for this week for next week's video, but hope you guys stay awesome, stay positive, and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.